All right, so today we are leaving the Papua Arts Center here in Raja Ampat and we are heading to the Saporkran Village. And we're joined now by Yuni, who is with Papua Arts and she's gonna act as kind of our tour guide and information guru. Once you leave the boardwalk right here along the waterway, the trail does become a bit treacherous. Here's sort of a welcome sign and I guess some of the students made it. Yeah, we're going, babe. But you can see it's definitely like, uh, no joke, lots of roots. Lots of rocks, but again, about uh, uh, somewhere between 25 and 30 minutes is the expected time to get to the village. And it's a busy kind of a commuter highway here. Huggy, good morning. Hello. Okay, so we just got to the village, and honestly, uh, that took way less time than even I thought. So it took maybe 15 minutes of just walking from the Papua Art Center to the Saporkran village. Are you guys looking at chickens? Sorry, I'm really sweaty. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a baby. Okay. The horse is very excited about the baby chicken. And there's a mom chicken. Should we go and see what else we can see? So Christian village, they got the cross right up on top, which is cool. Okay, so you were saying the church, they've been, it's new. Yeah, it's and new. It's, they started the project five years ago. Yeah. And so are primarily everybody in town here Christian? Is that Christian, why? all of them. All, everyone's Christian? And do, is the church, do they do service? Yeah. Every Sunday? Every Sunday, but, but they make another one, a small one down there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hi, Puggy. Hi. Morning. Puggy. Puggy. Hello. Yeah, baby forest. And this is, uh, what do you call this? Pinang. Pinang. So this is, um, we call, I've learned the name is uh, beetle nut. So this is what grows on the trees around here. And if you notice, like uh, people with red teeth, it's from uh, chewing on the beetle nut. So it turns your teeth red. So if you ever see anyone with a really red mouth, it's from chewing on the beetle nut. And it's sort of like a narcotic, like a, like a nicotine. Like, they, why do they chew? Because it's, there's something in it, yeah? Yeah, it's, we call it escapur, it's white one. Oh, ah, yeah. and what's this? Escapur. Yeah. No smell. It's a, yeah, it's from a uh, 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 reef. Okay, yeah. okay. And why do they, so they put a little of that and a yeah. little of the beetle nut in, the, in their mouth? Yeah. And what's this one? This one, they put together. Like yeah. this, so each pinang first, yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah, this one came with this one together. Okay, yeah. so they chew the big nut for. Is there a seed on the inside? Yeah. Okay, so they chew, <laughs> yeah. and then what? And then they take this little fine? stick. Yeah, little stick. And they dip it in siri. the. We, we call it siri. Yeah. This one is siri. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and is it make you feel dizzy, like when you do it? It depends. Yeah. It depends. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> If uh, like uh, people here, not, but it's a new people if they were trying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> so it camera. depends. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, I think what I've been told is sort of like a nicotine or uh, some kind of like um, something that makes you feel all a bit dizzy and not yeah. high per se, but definitely just like, like a smoking a cigarette, but chew. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, oh hello, Puggy. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, my goodness. All, All right, rocking our Kurt Cobain yeah. t-shirt. Yeah, nice. nice. Big uh, Nirvana fans in the village. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So there's the church. So maybe we can walk up and take a look at the church, but it is pretty. I mean, from the water when you go on Skiba Diving Trips and you pass this village, you definitely see the church. Let's see if we can uh, explore a little bit inside the church. I mean, they got all blocked off, but it looks like it's going to be beautiful when it is done. Let's see, kind of peek inside. Oh yeah. So it'll eventually be a beautiful church when it's finished. Hello. Hi, Ibu. Hello. Laundry day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, washing. But Patucci. Yeah. yeah. Batucci. So much Patucci. Yeah. <laughs> Always, I mean, yeah, with Batucci. kids, uh, mountains of Patucci. It's laundry. <laughs> So down this street is the school, and you were set, telling me, Uni, that it's kindergarten. Yeah. And then how? What's the top grade here at the school? Six. Sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade. And then at that point, families. Oh, here's the school right here. The Christian school. Yes. Okay, religious school. So at that point, after sixth grade, 
families with money yeah. will send their kids to where? Sarah? To Sarah or Waisai. And at that point, they'll learn English maybe. In Waisai, not. But in Sorong, they learn English. Okay, and then families who just don't have the money, yeah, their children just finish school. Yeah, just finish okay. school. Okay, so big school. There's an open class. Maybe I'll stick my head in there and see what a classroom looks like. And, and they do school six days a week. So the only day off school is Sunday. Yeah, Sunday off. Okay, and then what hours are, is it school? They start for um, 8 until 11 or 10. Eight. Around 10 and 11. Oh, okay. So yeah. just a couple hours. So I'll just kind of... Hello. Let me see. Okay, so here's the classroom. And these are the presidents? Yeah. It's president. President? Yeah. And who's this on the... That's the president. Yes, I'm during this president. Ah, ah, I see. But yeah, they've got some materials there and just the school. And what kind of, what are they learning in school? Are they doing like math and yes. arithmetic and, yeah, reading, and reading, writing? Yeah. In, in Bahasa? In Bahasa. Okay, okay. Bahasa, Indonesia. Yes, yeah. And so you'll have maybe a couple of kids, um, a couple of kids per desk, I bet. Oh, this is... Uh, yeah, local Indonesian. Cool. Yeah. Well, we weren't really, uh, we didn't ask to come in, so I don't want to stay too long, but, you know, just example workbook. This is probably a primary, a primary class, but it is a kind of cool to see. And then there's the whiteboard for the teacher. All right, cool. Yeah. Sneak breaking into school. Probably, probably, uh, probably okay. Yeah. All right, so a nice school. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, flag. Is there a, is, do they do like a, uh, <laughs> is there a um, national, like a Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah. Mm. How does that go? And uh, every, every, every Monday. Every morning, Monday? Yeah. In the morning, the kids come to the courtyard yeah. here and they sing or do they say? They sing. They sing and then it's like uh, the ceremony. Okay. Yeah. So every Monday the kids will do yeah, a every Monday. Just just a one hour. One hour. Uh, yes. Of, or more. Of school. Of school. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, inside of uh Indonesian school. Very cool. All right, well we'll continue the tour. All right, so we got three of these uh chocolate ices. We'll give this one to you, Kelly, to deal with for for us. Okay, how much? How much? Okay, so I gave her a hundred thousand and we'll see what kind of change we get back. Chocolate deliciousness. Lots of little friends. Hello, Poggy. Okay, thank you. All right, Temakashi. Uh Sama Sama. <laughs> Learning. So it's fifteen thousand rupiah for those three uh ice pops chocolate ice pops is this this is your this is a uh, grandpa grandpa hello Opa. yeah this is hello in the pleasure foggy for uh, the for for a long time it's still alive yeah. oh, <laughs> good boy. and another one yeah yeah you yeah. got chocolate and um, so chocolate yeah i mean it's a uh, all guy in the village only two only two only two two old this guy, gentlemen yeah. two grandpas yeah. this two. Two, two grandpas yeah it's very old than another okay yeah. and does he do fishing or what kind of life does he do um typically during the days uh, Masih mancing? Yeah, yeah. 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 He's a he's a gardener. Yeah, nice. and nice. also fishing. Yeah, fishing, yeah. Everything. Is, is his house right here? Yes. Can he show us his house? Yes, like, of we course. See? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah. Awesome. So we can have a little tour of uh, this uh, grandpa's yeah. house. Hi. And he's uh, one of the two oldest gentlemen in the village, so I'm pretty excited. So he gardens during the day, he fishes. Four, so I'll break down. Fishes during the day. And uh, yeah, he's uh, going to give us a little tour of his house, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hey guys, how you doing? So his water tank. Oh, they're going for coconuts, maybe. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. 
Going right up the tree for the coconut. So cool. <laughs> All right. Hello. Watching some shows. Hi, Bobby. Hi, hey, Abu. Hey, baby. Oh, yay. Woo -hoo. All right. So here we are inside the house. And if there's lights, if there's lights, that would be helpful. If, if that's if not, oh, the lights are not cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, so your kitchen and typically, uh, they got the rice kettle, the water boil, just nice dishes here. Yeah, yeah. Full kitchen, nice. And you make uh, nasi goreng and um, what else? <laughs> Me going, Me yes. <laughs> all the all the best dishes. Is this a uh, bedroom back there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was it? Up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. It's bathroom here. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Okay, so oh, they have the fire for cooking. Yeah, yeah I was looking for I was looking for their hot pot. Yeah, so bananas from the garden. And cooking rice, maybe no. Yeah, rice. rice? So water. Dishes for the cleaning. Cool. So cool. Thank you. All the like the different basins. And wow, well, 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 well. <laughs> In the gardens out back? No garden. No garden. Just uh, the neighbor. Oh, neighbor's house. Yeah. Okay. This is a well. Oh, the water well. Yes. Oh, cool. It's very clean water. Yeah, it looks like it's super clear. Yeah. Nice. The whole bathroom. Ah, uh, uh, outhouse. Yeah. yeah. Forest going on uh, next to that chocolate. <laughs> chocolate, ice. Chocolate, yeah. ice. Go to the helmet. You got you. Got the lanterns. Yes. Sometimes it just takes a little Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Ah, is oh toilet, toilet, toilet. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, so the indoor bathroom now. Kitchen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All the cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Papuan housing. Yeah. Oh, this is the kids' room, so you got the school bag and toys. Third bedroom, so we have a three bedroom house. And the electricity. Yeah, really nice place. I'm really glad that uh, um, Pak let us tour. Thank you, Pak. Thank you. Uh, Teramakashi. Right. Cool, beautiful place. And maybe a fourth bedroom. Yeah, another bedroom. Ah, selamat datang. Yeah. Selamat datang. Yeah. Selamat datang. Beautiful place. This must be Grandpa's room with the glasses. Yeah, really nice house. Again, I think so. There's four bedrooms. So this is like a big house. This one is uh, they just um uh it's new one, old one. Yeah. They they make uh, they make a bigger. It's before it's small. Okay, so before only two, only two, two, two bedrooms. Okay. Yeah, but now they make four. They make okay. one bigger. And do all the houses in the village have this general feel? Oh, like there's a kitchen, different, bed, different, different. different. smaller, bigger, yeah, bigger, bigger. Okay. Yeah. so this is a smaller so house in the village. Um, I can say it's a bigger one. This is a bigger one. Bigger yeah, one. it seems like it. Yeah, yeah really it's nice normal, house. like a normal house, like the right there. Yeah. There. It's only two. Two bedrooms. Like, yeah, nice. 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 Okay. Yeah. So awesome. Uh, Pac, super generous to let us tour his house. All right. So just outside uh, Grandpa and Ibu's door is uh, our friend again up in the coconut tree. <laughs> yeah, fuck, nice. Is he gonna catch? Oh, nice. So I think uh, I think uh, Pac was saying that they'll serve us coconuts down at the beach. So we're gonna continue our walking tour of town, see the market, and then uh, Pac and Ibu uh, will bring us fresh coconuts on the beach. So that's pretty great. It's not gonna get a whole lot better. And really prime real estate uh, right next to the church. So I can't wait. Hopefully we can come back in the future and see when this church is complete because I imagine it will be beautiful. 
super sweet for Pac to let us see his house like that. And again, you know, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was, seemed like a really nice house. You have four bedrooms, you have indoor uh, bathroom with the plumbing and the electricity. So again, not a poor village by any stretch. And all these houses are sort of equivalent in terms of electricity and plumbing, and they're beautiful. It's a really cute village. And I wonder, um, during kind of pre-COVID, was this town really hustling and bustling with tourism? Because this seems like a cool spot and uh, to be able to visit and actually spend the night in town here. I'm sure there must be rooms that you could rent or stay, but it's a cool spot. I mean, it's uh, right on the water. Maybe I can uh, walk down here and see the... Uh, sites but there's like a local fisherman lots of different houses here and back kitchens but it's very pretty yeah there's uh, somebody on that wooden kayak there he's a huge wooden boat here so yeah the hustle and bustle uh Uni said there was 18 sort of separate families. Hey, Park, how are you? Hi. Good, good. English, huh? Yeah? Where are you from? America. America. Yeah, you? Oh. Yeah, here. In Papua. <laughs> In Papua, yeah. Um, beautiful. You do fishing? Uh, fish on boat? No, no. No, you don't fish? Uh, and, and boat to Barak. Ah, I see. My, my father to Barak. I see, go, I see. Go to Barak. I see. Uh, you you go to to market yeah cool thank you pa okay bye. see you bye okay yeah i hope it's okay i just kind of walked into this property seemed like a nice guy hello Ibu. hello Paggy. hey park Hello. So oh, Look yeah, a little puppy. Two puppies. Come get me. There's two puppies. Lots of puppies. Oh, yeah. So just right as we pass uh, from the housing, we enter the cemetery. And they're pretty unique graves. Um, certainly have a lot of cool canopies over all these different graves. Some people have uh, headstones. Some people just have like sand pits. But we'll take a look here and see. No, uh, no, like names or anything. So I imagine the families obviously know kind of whose grave is whose. But yeah, wow. Yeah, definitely these cool housing cemetery. Yeah, yeah, grave, grave. Kaburan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a kaburan? Yes, it's yes. kaburan. They make a house for like uh, they, they, they believers like this place. They can, they can stay. They have a new place. Okay, yeah. so when somebody dies, the families build this. Yes, the family. Okay. And then the idea is that their spirit goes to heaven. Yeah. And then the housing is to... To protect them. Okay, yeah. protect. That's, yeah. that's, that's very cool. Yeah. And then, so they put it out like that. Yeah. Now, some of them have like stones, like those over there, no yeah. roof. Yeah. Is that how come? Uh, it depends. It's a family. They want to make that like that. It's yeah. fine. Like the house is fine. Okay, yeah, so they, one they, or the other. Yeah, they, it doesn't mean like more money, less money, yeah, or... Okay, yeah. okay. So this one is, they spend, yeah, a lot of money to build this one because yeah. they have to buy this, yeah. that, they pay for people, for building. So it's going to be spend a lot of money. Okay. So okay. this one, and that one is better than here. Yeah? Yeah. I see. Well, you watch oh, yeah. Oh, time, for, uh, okay. time for coconuts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So again, uh, yeah, fascinating the uh, story and here's finally like something so this person died in 1982 I take it um, yeah it's the first real like kind of name and, and stone I've seen I mean morbid but it's kind of cool to see the cemetery
All right, so just past the cemetery is a beautiful beach. And what's the name of the beach again? Uh, Yemamen. Yemamen Beach. And you can see like all uh, like the local gentlemen, they're uh, using snorkel masks and they're doing fishing. Oh, we caught a fish. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So they caught lots of fish. Uh, is that like a little, I don't know, not a barracuda, but something skinny and small. So these guys here, uh, yeah, they're just using like spear fishing instruments right off of the beach. You can see all of the uh, wooden boats again that they make here in the village. Some kind of registry on that one. Yeah, you like forest? Bro? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, no, <laughs> What kind of fish is that? This one? This is yeah. from Cell. Oh, you can see where they speared it. Right there. Cool. Yeah. Nice, yummy. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. eat. Hello. Uni, do yes? the kids, do the little kids do the beetle nut? Yeah. Okay, all yeah. ages. Yeah. All ages. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. So Uni was telling us that all of the children in the village kind of are all taking part of that beetle nut uh, tradition with the chewing. And so you'll see all different age groups and different people uh, with the red teeth. So, you know, again, I, I think it, there is like a nicotine component to it. So, you know, it's just what it is. All right, this way. The boys here are just teaching me. Uh, so white people, they call bule. 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 So the little bule baby was just crying and they were kind of uh, getting a kick out of that. So Uni and the boys were just telling me a little bit of the backstory on who built the village. And you said there's basically four families yes. that started this whole thing. And what were their names? Uh, so the, the first family is uh, Mambrasar, yeah. Sawiyai, uh, Bayor, and Dimara. Dimara. And how long ago was that? Berapa lama? It's a very long time very ago. Long. It's more than 20 years ago. Okay, so way back, yeah, way, back. way back. And are any of the original family members still alive? Yeah, still alive. Sure. And one is the, the guy. It's the grandpa. Oh, grandpa. Yeah. He, so the grandpa who showed yes, us his house two, two was guy I told you. one of the original kind of pioneers of this village. I mean, so I guess where does the money come from to build like these houses? Is it from government? From government. Yes. Yeah, okay. Some, it's a, so some of government and some of from the family. Okay. Uh, the cafes and the sell market, they keep money. Okay. So, and then, yeah. I want, so the Indonesian government will give money to yeah. people to start to start Villages. but this, this, they just give her like the wood mm. and then uh, some stone and uh, okay roof some, like some, this. some materials yeah, some material. like that big blue roof may have come in the, the brick may have come from an Indonesian government type of program and then people will also save money from selling hello. vegetables hello yeah, puggy. Puggy. <laughs> puggy. Fish, vegetables at the market, and then they'll contribute themselves to uh, to this housing. But this village is really nice. Ooh. Hello, Ibu. Hello. Huggy. Oh, in the shade. Nice. So, what's the Indonesian word for coconut? Kalapa. Kalapa. You ready for kalapas? Yeah. Oh man, so hot. It's be super refreshing. Kalapas. Yeah. Time for kalapas. This is the light. Yeah. No, look how beautiful this is. Yeah, right on the water. Yeah, so these are, again, more examples of these wood carved boats, kayak styles, and there's some people out there fishing. But a beautiful boardwalk. How old is he, this boy? Thirteen. Thirteen. Nice. nice. That's good. Yeah, refreshing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. Uni, what's his what's his name? Huh? Name. Marcel. 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 All right, thank you, man. Tamakashi. So cool. What a stud. Awesome, Tamakashi. Thank you.
Oh, it's been so long since I've had a fresh coconut. And this right off the tree. Oh, let me do more. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. That is uh, that is as good as it's going to get. That is fantastic. So sweet. Especially after walking in that sun, man. We're caked in sweat. This is uh, definitely a real treat. There's Forrest. They brought him a little straw. Okay, everybody smile. Oh, yeah. Bye, y'all. Coconut. Kalapa. Kalapa. Okay, so while they're finishing up coconuts here, we're going to take Forrest on a little walk down the jetty. There's a bunch of kids down here, and they're definitely fishing. Uh, I can see, like, sticks and their little um, lures that they're throwing out there. So we'll take a peek here and see if we can catch any other fish. You want to walk, Forrest? Okay. Yeah, doggy. Just so many people fishing and boats and part of just the Saturday routine, I imagine, just going out and catching fish. Hey, Pac! Pac is uh, sir and Ibu is like madam. I think for both uh, adults and children. Touch the hole for us. There you go. All right. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so she's fishing. Hey, Puggy. All right, so as we walk out to the jetty, you can see they really rig up fishing equipment. So here's like a baby powder uh, bottle, and then there's got the fishing string tied to it. So a really long rope. I don't see a hook on this one, but it goes. Yeah, pretty. Oh, there's the hook. So again, here's just somebody's, uh, that's just somebody's, um, fishing equipment right here. And let's see if we can catch, uh, see if we can, see if we can see them catching fish. Oh, this boy's coming here. Yeah, cool, Pac. Nice. So you can see he's got the, the beetle nut teeth. Hi, Pac, how you doing? Woohoo! Awesome. Catch fish? Fish, nice. Forrest, you coming out? Okay, so I see. So she's got a little teeny fish. Hi, Ibu. I'm just fishing right off the reef. I keep an eye on Forrest. Got lots of uh, I can see sea stars down there. Lots of fish just swimming around. There's Ibu on the Hi, Ibu. <laughs> On her butt. Hello. 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 You catch fish? Any fish? Oh, I can see your string Hello. way out by those kids. Yeah, and this is uh kind of our home stays located down there, about you know, a fifteen minute walk. But if you're definitely uh, coming to this area, this would be a cool village to hang out in. I couldn't quite determine if they have little rooms here for rent, but to stay in the village would be kind of a cool experience as well, at least for a night or two. Here's one of their little bait fish that they use for their fishing. You wanna see the fish? Yeah, well, I see the fish. Yeah, there's the fish, all right. So these you see by the hundreds each morning flopping around. So they, I wonder if they net cast those. Slimy, huh? Yeah, slimy. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna go fishing with that fish. Cheese! Cheese! Yeah. Gabung, gabung. Forest. Sini. Gabung, gabung. Boys, boys, boys. All the boys. Satu, one, forest, forest, yeah. 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 Again, a, a great village. Everyone has been so friendly and so fun. If you are in this area or staying at Papua Arts, walking the 15 minutes to get here is absolutely worth your time. It is just a beautiful place, and on top of it, everyone is just so friendly and willing to 
open up their house or join you on a tour or cut you a fresh coconut. So this village, uh oh, what's the name of the village again? Sap. Sap. Sapo Kren. Yeah. Sapo Kren Village. This is the. This is definitely a stop you have to do when you're in this area. Sapo 